Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sajula Faisi. I welcome you in my YouTube channel. Today, in this video, we are going to learn about noble gases. This is also a very important topic and a lot of questions based on noble gases you will find in different competitive exams. So with the hope this video will be helpful to you in your exams. So let us start learning of noble gases. You know my friends, the noble gases also known as the inert gases or rare gases. You also know they are located in group 8 or International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry groups, 18 of the periodic tables. The noble gases are helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, redon, and organeson, which this is the column of elements along the far right side of the periodic tables. My friend, you know this group is a subset of non-metals. So, collectively the elements are called helium group or neon group. Noble gases found in minute quantities in air. For example, argon is the most abundant and cheapest comprising 0.934% of air by volume. You also know although rare on earth, helium is second most abundant element in the universe. All carbon isotopes are short life and continuously being produced by natural decay process. Longest life isotope is 220 to 8 3.8 is. Organeson is a synthetic chemical element with the symbol OG and atomic number 108. It was first synthesized in 2002 at the Joint Institute of Nuclear Research in Dubai. You know, condensed phase are held together by Van der Waals forces, which increase the smoothly down the group. Now, you know the atomic number 2, 10, 18, 36, 86, 54, and 118. Atomic masses, you know, boiling point, you can see melting point. First ionization, kilojoule per mole density, and atomic radius. Now, uses of noble gases. You know, my friend, helium is used in nuclear reactors as a cooling gas and used as a flow gas in liquid gas chromatograph. Helium balloons are used to check the weather of a particular reason. Helium is preferred over hydrogen, though hydrogen is cheaper as the helium is readily available and hydrogen is highly inflammable. Hence, due to safety issues, helium is preferred in aircraft. You know, my friend, helium is used by divers to dilute oxygen over nitrogen and the gas cylinder used by them as nitrogen can easily be. The blood which results in the painful conditions called dents. My friend, the boiling point of helium is the least where compared to any other groups. It is used to obtain the lowest temperature required in lasers. You know, helium isotope has the lowest known boiling point. 
at which point it is called helium 1 on cooling to 2.178 kelvin a phase transition to helium 2 occurs helium 1 has an expanded volume almost no viscosity and is superconducting helium 2 can readily follow a field to equalize volume in adjacent vessel it cannot be stored in glass divers because it leak through a glass into the evacuated space so at 0 kelvin 3 helium floats on 4 helium permitting separation of the acid you know my friend neon is used in discharge steel which is the reasons behind the reddish orange glow produced by neon light in metallurgical process argon is widely used in order to provide the necessary inert atmosphere this inert atmosphere plays an important role in building titanium aluminium stainless steel and magnesium it is also used in the productions of titanium a limited amount of argon is used in germanium and silicon crystal which are used in electric light bulbs and distors. Zenon and Kepton find their application in photographic plates due to the generation of very bright light. It is also used in the lighthouses. Neon, Zenon and Kepton are used to produce different colored lights. So, helium neon argon cryptosinans uh, used in gas uh, decorating uh, lighting called neon light. Radon is radioactive and thereby it is not used for decorating light. So, chemistry of noble gases. Before 1962, it was assumed that no compound could be formed owing to stability of object. Today, many compounds of xenon with Fluorine and oxygen are known, and even some krypton and fluorine are known. Although krypton compounds are stable only at very low temperature. In 1962, Neil Bartlett reacted O2 with PtF6, forming O2 PtF6 minus the first ionization potential for O2 molecules. O2 O plus 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 1 electron is 1165 kJ per mole which is almost equal to that of Zen. So, we try the same reaction with Zenon produce of first noble gas compound Zenon hexafluorine platinate. We subsequently produce and reproduce several other solid fluoride of Zenon, XCF2, XCF4, and XCF6. And solvent basic properties of XCF6, he was able to prepare first equivalent gold compound. So, xenon fluoride or xenon difluoride is a powerful fluorinating agent with the chemical formula XCF2 and one of most stable xenon compound. XCF2 forms with a alacrity when a stoichiometric mixture of xenon and F2 in glass flask is irradiated by sunlight. XCF2 light it gives itself. XCF2 is a powerful oxidant. You know, both of XCF2 and XCF4 are only mildly reactive where XCF4 attack plants. So, my friends, xenon fluoride, the lone pair on XCF6, allows it to act as low space, forming adducts such as XCF6, f 3 XCF4, 6, PF3, XCF6, SVF5. XCF6 can also act as a Lewis acid in the forming XCF7. XCF8 product. Xenon fluoride hydrolyzed to give characteristic mixture of products. So, carefully controlled hydrolysis uh, of XCF6 with the stoichiometric amount of H2 gives XCO4 and colorless liquids. So, XCO3 and its anions. Solution of XCO3 formed by the hydrolysis of XC4 or XCF6 are stable up to 11 so with careful evaporation xcf3 is obtained as a white delicacent salt so xeo3 is dangerous explosive 
So you know xenon for y xcf2 plus 2 oxidation state hybridization sp3 linear shape xcf4 plus 4 oxidation state sp3 t2 square planar xcf6 plus 6 uh, oxidation sp3 t3 distorted octahedral xcf2 plus 4 oxidation sp3 t t shape xcf4 plus 6 oxidation state sp3 t2 square pyramidal xcf3 plus 6 oxidation sp3 pyramidal so, krypton difluorides, CrF2, KrF2 is a chemical compound of kryptons and fluoride. It was the first compound of krypton discovered. It is a volatile for the solid. The structure of the krypton F2 molecule is linear with krypton F distance of 188.9 pm. It reacts with a strong BCC to form salts of the KrF plus and Kr2 F3 plus cation. NMF6 minus 11. So, my friends, krypton difluorides, you know. So, I hope this video will be helpful to you. If you like this video, then subscribe my channel and thanks for watching.